here, my name is Ashley. I am a homeschooling mama to a three and a five-year-old, and today I will be sharing what's in our homeschool morning basket, how we use it, and how you can build your own that's perfect for your family. So grab your favorite drink, let's get into it. Let's first ask the question, what is a morning basket? It is a collection of enrichment subjects via books or other resources like flashcards that you wanna add into your child's learning. You may also recognize it under the name of morning meeting or circle time. Morning baskets are also a way you could get all of your children together and learn subjects as a family. They are helpful because they ensure that your children will learn things that are otherwise difficult to fit into the core curriculum throughout the day. Sometimes abstract subjects like art appreciation, Bible study, poetry, and so on. Now let me get into some frequently asked questions about morning baskets. Do you have to do them in the morning? No, you can do morning baskets any time of day whenever it works for your family. Do you have to do everything that's in the basket at once? No, you have the freedom to split up all the materials in the morning basket throughout the day. In fact, that's what I do. Do you need more than one kid to do morning basket? No, if you are homeschooling one kid, morning baskets are still a great thing to add to your homeschool day. In fact, about 90% of our homeschool basket is done with just my first grader because my three-year-old hardly ever sits through it. Do I have to have a morning basket? No, if a morning basket doesn't work for your family, don't include it. Just because a lot of other homeschoolers do it doesn't mean you have to do it. Be confident in the way you homeschool. Does a morning basket have to include only enrichment subjects? Can I add core subjects to it? Yes, there are no hard and fast rules for a morning basket. You make it in a way that fits for your family, for your homeschooling style. There is no one size fits all. Now that I have briefly summarized what a morning basket is, I'm gonna go into what's in my morning basket and how we use it. First is our Bible materials. We have the beginning Bible and its companion, 365 devotions. If you've been around here a while, you already know how much we love this Bible and how perfect I believe it is for my children's ages. Really quickly though, the beginner's Bible has a short Bible story with bright illustrations on every page. And the 365 devotions for kids goes along with the Bible, providing a Bible verse for each day, as well as a super short devotion and a prayer at the end. Along with these Bible resources is this devotion called Indescribable 100 Devotions About God and Science. Each devotion goes over a science concept along with a related Bible verse and devotion. I have this little My First Bible Words included here for my toddler if he decides to participate with us. It has a lot of illustrations with words that are often heard in the Bible. I just think it's a good way to familiarize him with some of the commonly heard Bible verses. And lastly for Bible, I include an alphabet Bible verse card each week to help us all as a family memorize scripture. The box comes with double-sided cards with every letter from A to Z, and it provides a Bible verse to practice. The front is colorful and laminated, and the back verse is plain and it can be colored in. Other resources include that week's Bob book, which is a reader for those learning to read. Right now we just finished the sight word collection and are starting the Advancing Beginners collection. I have Handwriting Without Tears, which is probably our favorite handwriting book as of now. My daughter really doesn't care for handwriting, but she doesn't seem to mind completing this one. And with no whining too, hence the name Handwriting Without Tears. There's also a small kid Sudoku book that I found on Amazon for an affordable price. It's full of small and large Sudoku puzzles for kids along with a picture to color on each page. And then there's a read aloud chapter book. This week we're reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Now that you have an idea what's inside our morning basket, I'm now gonna show you how we do it throughout the day. So in the morning, pretty much as soon as my first grader wakes up, we do Bible time together on the carpet. My kids do have a morning smoothie during this time so they don't get hangry. And sometimes my three-year-old will join us. Other times he's more preoccupied playing with his trucks. I get all of our Bible materials out of the basket and I start by reading a story out of the Bible. This takes about one to two minutes to read. Then I open the bookmarked spot in their devotion book and read the Bible verse, the devotion, and say a short prayer after. This takes another one to two minutes. I keep Bible time short and sweet, better to capture their full attention in a short reading than to totally lose them in a long-winded reading. We then open up to the next devotion in the indescribable devotion book and read through that. This takes about three to four minutes. I then very, very briefly talk about what we just learned and I'll say a prayer over them. That usually takes about three minutes. And that's the end of the first section of Morning Basket. It's Bible time and it takes roughly eight to 11 minutes to do every morning. If my three-year-old is engaged with us for Bible time, I'll open his little first Bible words book and let him point to pictures and I'll say the words. 
but that does not happen every morning. About 30 minutes to an hour later, when they're sitting down at the table for breakfast, I'll grab the memory verse card and get everyone involved in trying to remember the scripture, including myself and my husband. My daughter likes the little bit of competition in seeing who can memorize the scripture first. We practice the memory scripture every day, even on weekends, and I'll switch it out for a new verse when I feel it's cemented into all of our memories, usually every week or two. Phase two of our morning basket begins when everyone is dressed and ready for the day. This part of morning basket is meant to warm my first grader up for the school day, and it includes like a brain tweezer. A <laughs> What's a brain tweezer? A brain teaser like Sudoku and two core tasks that aren't really exciting for her, but she has to get done anyway. It begins by me telling my first grader that it's time to start her morning work and she has the choice on what order she does it in. She'll usually start with Sudoku because that's her favorite and she also loves to color it. This will take about five minutes. Afterwards, she will usually read her Bob book to me, which takes about two minutes. Then she'll flip to the next page in her handwriting without tears workbook, and that can take anywhere between three to five minutes. Handwriting and reading her readers are two of her least favorite things to complete. That's why I include it in her morning basket slash morning work time so she can complete it when she's fresh and ready for the day. And it's nice to get it done and over with so early. That's why I like to include core curriculum into our morning basket. So after those tasks are complete, that takes about 10 to 15 minutes, then she could take a little break before starting her schoolwork for the day. The final phase three of Morning Basket actually happens at lunchtime. This is where we read aloud a few chapters from the chapter book while both kids eat lunch. My toddler is involved in this part because he really has no choice. <laughs> he will happily sit there and eat while being read to. Eating keeps both of the kids occupied and I actually noticed my first grader does a better job listening to the book that way. This takes anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how invested we all are in the book. Now I wanna talk a little bit with about, uh, now I wanna talk a little bit about what you can add into your morning basket because my morning basket isn't necessarily going to fit for your family. Every family is different in their own wonderful way. You have to consider how many children do you have? What ages are your children? What are everyone's educational needs? What are everyone's interests, including your interest, mom or dad? Because you also want to teach things that interest and inspire you. No two morning baskets are the same, but I do have a few ideas for you that you can include if you wish. You can add Bible materials if you are a family of faith. This can be Bibles, devotions, curriculum, memory verses, songs or hymns, prayer or meditation. There's language arts materials like read aloud books, poetry, audiobooks, handwriting practice, readers, sight word flashcards, Mad Libs, and maybe for your smaller ones, letter manipulatives or letter flashcards to practice letters and their sounds. For math, you can put in math flashcards, practice problems that you feel your little one needs help with, a Sudoku book or any other puzzle or brain teaser. For little ones, you can add dot to dot pages or number flashcards. For science, history, and geography, you can add various books about topics, like if you're teaching about the ocean, a book or two about ocean animals, or books about historical figures. Geography is a fun one. You could add flashcards or maps your kids can color in. For enrichment subjects, you can put materials in for music theory, art appreciation, a foreign language, cultural studies, and whatever you feel like learning about as a family. Now, take a deep breath. I know the list I kind of just spewed out at you can be a little daunting, maybe a little overwhelming. That is never my goal here. These are just a few ideas for you to pick and choose for your own morning basket. Don't feel like you have to add every single subject. Just add pieces you believe will benefit your family's learning. And remember, you don't have to stick to it all year round. So say if you wanna learn about art history, say, you can do that for a few weeks and then switch to music appreciation for another few weeks or a few months. Your basket is allowed to grow and change as your family does. I hope this video served you and I hope you are inspired to create your own unique morning basket. Please give this video a thumbs up if you want more content like this and please subscribe if you want more tips and tricks on encouraging a love of learning in your little one. Happy learning everyone! I will see you in the next one!